resurrection of the truth, Jesus is Lord. God is an all consuming fire, burning away all false desires. Yes, he's gonna burn it away. Hello, brothers and sisters. My question for you. What does it mean for you that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit? I've heard so many ways for that verse, that expression to be used. Well, well it means you have to be careful what you eat. It means that smoking is a sin. It means this, that, and the other. I've heard from, from charismatic to more conservative, all different ways, just saying that phrase without ever stopping and reading the context. So, so let's do that. Let's just stop and read the context in which Paul said that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Right? Let's do that. He simply starts by saying, uh, Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her. For, as it is written, the two will become one flesh. But, he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the, sexual, the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. What's the context? Sexual sin. Now, now many commentators have said that, historically speaking, most probably, uh, these Corinthians were going to what they call temple prostitutes. We're justifying by saying, we're just, we're just participating in the culture. And it means nothing, because the body means nothing. And Paul said, wait, that's philosophy. Christianity says the body is important because it belongs to God. Now, if, it, if it isn't specifically temple prostitutes, which makes sense when you look at the text, it's still about sexual sin. Now, even if you want to push it further and say, is it only about sexual sin? Is that the only reason we think about the fact that we are the, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit? No, maybe not. But it does have to do with sin, though. Sin itself is an attack against this body, which is a temple of the Holy Spirit. This is all about sin. Like I said, the context is sexual sin, but we can't go any further and start adding other ideas than we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, therefore we cannot sin within our body. We must remind ourselves of that. And we even see that when we keep moving along and we go to Ephesians, which we'll get to at some point, and find about this famous sin of grieving the Holy Spirit. And again, we have all these ideas of what it means, but in the context it has to do with sin, but we'll get to that in time. Which sin is it? Ooh. But for now, we stay focused on this danger of sexual sin. I know there's no gradation when it comes to sin. I don't believe that. I don't believe that one sin is worse than the other. The consequences may be, but Scripture never shows us that one sin is worse than the other. Yet, Paul is still warning the Corinthians to take very seriously sexual sin because it's sin against the body. Sin done with the body and it is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And just that, do we take seriously then when we sin, especially sexual sin, it is a sin against the temple of the Holy Spirit. It is like Israel bringing idols into the temple, which they did, and worshiping these false gods in the temple, and God ends up calling that, huh, that spiritual idolatry. And spiritual adultery, I should say. Adultery. He, 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 he says that's spiritual fornication. Now think about that. Think about that reality from the Old Testament being brought into the New. And Paul is saying, it's the same thing. You're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Keep that holy. So let us take us very seriously, especially this day and age where it is so prevalent within the church. And I have to confess that it's still a battle as well for me. Oh, and I have to be reminded of that over and over again when a temptation comes. It is a sin against the temple of the Holy Spirit. We must take these things seriously because God does. 
with our brothers and sisters. Somebody come on.